Hi there, and here's the next part of our tutorial in Motion 5 and how we can create a uh, 3D cube, uh, spin it onto the screen, and we're using it to build our own title bar. So if you're not quite up to speed, you can go back and view the previous tutorials, and uh, you can find them on my YouTube channel. So here's what we've got so far. We've got our cube spinning on and our title bar coming out at the bottom. Now, I want some text. Um, for this title bar, so um, our title bar begins to come out at frame 15. So we're going to add our text here. So we'll click on text, and um, we'll give our text the name Motion 5 Tutorial, and We'll just change the properties of the text. We'll get it to a reasonable size. Position it inside our title bar. And let's change the color of the text. So it stands out a little bit more. And there we go. So there's our text in our... Um, text around so there's our text in our title bar we'll center it up a little bit okay so now obviously you can see it's spinning out but our text is is, is always there on the screen uh, you know the frame 15 it, it jumps up onto the screen um, if I change the color of it a little bit you'll be able to see it but you can just make out that it is actually is actually there if we had some kind of background you'd be able to see it um, I'll just change the color of the text momentarily just to make it a little bit more clear for you but there you can see that the text is clearly there and appearing at frame 15 now what I want it to do is to actually wipe onto the screen as our title bar comes out so we're going to use a mask we can't apply a mask directly to a text. You can see here it's it's um, blanked out. So what we need to do is create a clone layer of our text. Then we'll hide our original text. So this is our clone layer here. Now to the clone layer we can apply a mask. So again, we want this, we want this mask to start around frame 15. So we'll click on our mask there. Um, we want the square or rectangular mask. And we'll draw our mask onto the screen. Now I want to make that mask the same size as our um, title bar so it animates at the same speed. So we'll just resize it so it's approximately the same size as our title bar. There. Um, so now we're going to want to animate this mask so it swipes to the right. So We'll turn on our keyframe animation. Um, so we've got our start point here. And our end point is going to be when our swipe is finished. So that's frame 37. We're going to want this to be already all the way over here. OK. And then we just change the property of our mask to be a subtract mask instead of an add mask and now if we play back our video you'll see our text is swiping on you see the text is a little bit ahead of our swipe bar so we need to slow down that um, animation of our um, layer uh, mask it's animating a little bit too fast. It's slightly ahead, you see? So that's why our text is appearing ahead of the title bar, which we don't really want. So let's remove our rectangle mask again. This is probably down to our um, text not quite being aligned up correctly. If we were to... Uh, swing around you see our text is not exactly on our 
title bar. So let's just reposition the text. Go to our properties of it and our rotation. In this axis we also want to be zero so it's flat and then we'll adjust our position so it's almost touching on our title bar there okay let's go back to our active camera so there our text is now better positioned. Now we'll add our um, rectangle mask again. Our rectangle mask should follow the same plane as our text, you see. Um, so let's position our camera again as we want it. So there we have now our animation and our title bar swiping out. Now let's animate our rectangle mask again. So we'll turn on our keyframe animation and by frame 37 we want our mask to be somewhere over there and then we change our mask type again to subtract now let's see how that looks there we go that's better if we go back along it slowly you can see that our text slightly ahead in a couple of places still of our bar there So we'll just keyframe it. There. Okay, and there we have our text appearing on the screen together with our title bar. Now let's change the color of our text again. go back to our um, dark blue color there we go and I think we'll also add maybe uh, an outline to it there we go and we can add a slight drop shadow effect and there we have our title bar spinning out onto the screen and displaying our required text. So the final thing we're going to want to do is uh, animate this off the screen. Um, so I'll cover that in the next tutorial and then finally we'll be bringing it into Final Cut Pro and using it in one of our videos. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this was of some use. Don't forget to like my uh, channel, um, follow the channel and like the video. It helps me out a lot um, and uh, if you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for tuning in.